Thanks to the FDA and Patient Engagement Advisory Committee. My name is Kavya Perlman. I am the founder and CEO of XR Safety Initiative, XRSI. Today, I'm here to represent XRSI's Medical XR Advisory Council, a group dedicated to help building safety in medical XR ecosystems, where I serve as a subject matter expert for ARVR safety and chair for the Medical XR Privacy and Safety Framework Development Research. Medical XR Advisory Council hosts multidisciplinary panel of experts involving doctors, technologists, neuroscientists, technology professionals, and most importantly, the patients. The council brings together these thought leaders, healthcare experts, and visionaries to identify the risks and opportunities associated with immersive and emerging technologies, including AR, VR. The council started its mission in November 2019, and based on the work so far, we have established the following. When it comes to the risks and opportunities associated with ARVR, patient privacy and safety must remain a priority. VR AR applications have already started influencing medical diagnosis, education, and treatment. Basically, the way we receive healthcare is being revolutionized using these cutting edge technologies. However, the council has established that we are up against a massive challenge when it comes to the type of data and the amount of data these technologies allow us to collect, use, share, and store. Data is at the core of these healthcare solutions, but what we are observing is solution providers have already started shrugging the responsibilities that come along with these advancements. I'd like to draw attention to the disclosure provided in fine prints by one of the major ARVR solution providers and device manufacturers, Meta. Here you can see the fine print says, the Meta Quest 2 headset and accessories are not medical devices and are not intended to diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease. While the declaration allows Meta to not be held liable for any medical-related complications or assertions of misdiagnosis, etc., the reality is these devices are not just being advertised for healthcare use, but also are being used as a vehicle to diagnose and treat medical conditions by non-medical technologists using vast amount of data that traditionally remained in the hands of doctors and was subject to HIPAA regulations. The council further asserts that data-related issues require special data type considerations to be made due to biometrically inferred data now being extracted using ARVR devices. ARVR devices can generate and process large amount of highly personal data, including metadata and health inferences across various geolocations. The council has started the work towards expanding the definition of personal information that must be protected, including biometrically inferred data, psychographically inferred data, which is especially prevalent in the ARVR data pipelines. But Along with these new opportunities come new risks. In order to create safe healthcare ecosystems, the council has established that a multi-pronged approach must be taken. First, all stakeholders must share the responsibility for education and awareness around the risks and the opportunities for all stakeholders, including patients. Secondly, there needs to be a global oversight and harmonization of standards and regulations to enable control over massive amount of patient data being harvested by ARBR. Finally, I'd like to put forward three major recommendations from the Medical XR Advisory Council to the FDA. Number one, help improve upon current medical standards to incorporate ARBR technologies. Number two, help create awareness and education around risks and opportunities for all stakeholders. Number three, enable standardization and regulatory enforcement across geopolitical boundaries that include FDA, CDC, NHS, HHS type of entities. Thank you for allowing me to represent the Medical XR Advisory Council, and thank you for all the great work you do to protect human lives. Once again, my name is Kavya Perlman, and my information is available for any further correspondence or questions you may have for the Council.